Much like the gas engine in your car, a hurricane is a heat engine, taking the energy trapped in warm ocean waters and converting it to wind and rain. Let's open up the hood and take a closer look at how this heat engine works. The first thing our hurricane heat engines need is fuel. In this analogy, the entire ocean can be considered to be our gas tank, and the fuel is the warm, humid air resting atop the tropical oceans. We can judge by sea surface temperatures just how gassed up we are. The hotter and more widespread the warm surface waters, the more potential we have for a powerful and enduring hurricane. As a tropical cyclone moves across the open ocean, it uses up its fuel, leaving behind cold water trails, as you can see in this visualization of Fabian and Isabel. But now let's look inside the engine. A hurricane works with the eyewall clouds acting as cylinders to which our water vapor fuel rises and cools. As the cylinders heat up, they rise higher and higher, spreading out as they go. Rather than releasing energy through combustion, like a car engine, Hurricanes liberate latent heat energy through enormous amounts of condensation and freezing. When the now rapidly cooled air spills out of the eyewall cylinder, it sinks back down towards the sea. The rising and falling air patterns, combined with the rotation of the Earth, create our engine's drive shaft, maintaining its form and propelling it along its path as long as fuel remains. The exhaust fumes are storm clouds, filled with the only byproduct of condensation, which of course is a whole lot of rain.